It looks so peaceful down here. To us, our planet appears to not be moving at all, and sometimes we think everything will be like this forever. But in reality, we live in a vast cosmic arena where a lot of stuff is happening. Earth is moving around the sun at about 30 kilometers per second, or 67,000 miles per hour. Together with all the solar system planets, including the sun, we're speeding around the Milky Way supermassive black hole at an average speed of 137 miles, 220 kilometers per second. But our galactic home is so vast that it still takes us about 230 million years to make one complete orbit around it. And then, our whole galaxy is moving at a blistering speed of 1.3 million miles per hour, 2.1 million kilometers an hour, and is on a collision course with Andromeda Galaxy. In about 5 billion years from now, the two galaxies will merge into one. So you see, it's not very calm out there, and there are space events that can cause complete destruction to Earth. The one thing that will definitely wipe out our planet is our own star. Apparently, just like everything else, the sun, too, won't live forever. Stars like our sun will burn for about 10 billion years. The sun is currently about 4.6 billion years old, so it's about halfway through its life. When the time comes, the sun will expand into a red giant, throwing off its outer atmosphere and forming what's called a planetary nebula. In the red giant phase, the sun will be so big it will completely engulf Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth too. This will be the ultimate fate of our once blue planet. Another scenario that would make our Earth suffer is being hit by a gamma ray burst. Such bursts usually originate during the formation of black holes or the collision of neutron stars, and they are the strongest and brightest explosions in the universe. A tiny burst can emit more energy than our sun will during its whole lifetime. This energy can destroy the ozone layer completely, fill the Earth with hazardous ultraviolet radiation, and trigger rapid global cooling. The good news is that most of these bursts are typically too far away to harm us. Another bit of calming info is that they shoot out like a spear instead of radiating out in all directions, so the chance of one running straight into Earth is extremely small. This video wouldn't be complete if we didn't include asteroids that once upon a time proved to be so dangerous that one of them almost completely wiped out all life on Earth. Earth gets hit by space rocks pretty much every day, but thankfully, they're just tiny pieces that burn up in the atmosphere. However, if a bigger one were to strike, like in the Tunguska event 100 years ago, it would make a huge mess if it exploded over a densely populated area. And then there is the comet Swift-Tuttle, which could strike Earth in the year 4479. This fella carries 28 times the destructive energy of the event that triggered the last great mass extinction 65 million years ago. Check out this video on the right if you want to know about the asteroids that are most likely to hit our planet.